Hello scholars, this is Ms. Lamb. Thank you for joining me for math intervention today. We are going to go over fractions and more specifically, we are going to be looking at halves. So what is a fraction? A fraction is something that shows part of a whole. And right here is an example. As you guys can see, it is a circle. And what is shaded is half of the circle. So um, that isn't the whole circle that's in purple. It's only half of it. And we're going to go over what that means. Okay, so here is an example. Let's call this little girl named Katie. She has a whole cookie. Um, so imagine that. Along comes her friend named Betsy. She says, can I please have some? Um, I want you guys to think in your heads. What is the best way to go about it? How can um, Katie share her cookie with her friend Betsy? If you have one whole cookie, what do you think she should do with it? All right, I'm going to give you guys some time to think about it. Looking at that one cookie, what can she do with that cookie so that her friend can have some? All right, good job brainstorming. Um, so there's several ways that we can go about it. She can always break the cookie in a different part and give her um, some of that cookie. But what makes you guys think that'll make it? Or what do you guys think that Katie can do to make it fair for both of them to have um, the same amount? All right, if you guys said to cut it in half, Awesome job. That is what Katie did exactly. So if you take a look at Katie, the girl on the left, um, it is labeled one half, and that's half the cookie. That is what she kept for herself. Um, to make it fair, it's the same amount of cookie for the other girl named Betsy. Um, she now has a half a cookie as well. Do they have the same amount of cookie? Good job. Yes, they do. All right, so now we're going to take look take a look at um, how this was broken down. Um, we know both girls had half a cookie. So if you guys put that all together, um, taking a look at the equation, it, we have 1 half plus 1 half equals 1 whole. And then in this graphic right here, you guys can see, pretend that this is Katie's half and that this is... Betsy's half. When you guys put them together, what do you guys have? A whole. Good job. Alright, so now we're going to take a look at parts of a fraction. Everyone say fraction. Good job. So if you guys take a look at the bottom number, that is called the denominator. Please repeat after me. Denominator. Awesome job. That is total that is the total number of parts so in this case for the cookie once she broke it in half how many parts were there two good job so that is the denominator um, the top number is called the numerator the numerator is number of parts of the whole so if you take a look at one girl for example we have Katie um, since there were two total parts, how many of those parts did she have? She had one part. Awesome job. So that is how we come up with one over two. One being the number of parts of the whole, and then two being the total number of parts. Does everyone understand that? All right, if you guys need extra practice with it, you can always scroll back in the video and take a look at um, the graphics again. If not, we are going to move on. So now we're going to take a look at some practice questions. Um, fractions, there's a lot of parts to it. Many whole items can be broken down to several parts, but just for this lesson, we'll be looking at halves to introduce you guys to it. All right, so let's take a look at the questions. Okay, scholars, here is um, the first practice question. The screen is going to look like this from now on for the questions. Um, and let's get started. 
So this first question says, or sorry, this first problem says, circle all the cupcakes that show half. So I want you guys to take a look at each cupcake. Okay, so I want you guys to pick the ones that show half, and I will reveal the answer in a little bit. All right, I'm going to reveal the answer in three, two, one. Please pause the video if you need more time. Okay, so this one is asking for the number of cup, or sorry, circle all the cupcakes that show half. So now I'm going to take my highlighter, and I'm going to reveal which ones show half. So this is the first one. That has half of the cupcake. Here's the other one. And here's the last one. So these three all have half of the cupcake. We're going to take a look at the other ones real quick. This one right here where my mouse is, that one shows a whole cupcake. And the reason we know that is because we can see the whole thing. Um, point at the screen, which one also shows the whole cupcake? Have you guys pointed to this one? Awesome job. Um... Look right here at this cupcake. As you guys can see, we only see a part of the cupcake, and that is definitely not half. Half of it should be, um, if you guys put two of it together, y'all should see the whole. This one right here would require you guys to have how many more parts? I want you guys to count with me. One, two, and three. So this cupcake needs three more parts to make a whole. This is called um okay so this cupcake right here would be considered one fourth everyone say that with me one fourth okay i can't write it down but you guys understand okay and so this one right here oh you know what this one's also half sorry miss lamb made a mistake um this one's a little bit confusing because there was a line drawn right here as you guys can see, this one and this one are both shaded in with the same amount of cupcake. The only difference is this one has a line through it going left to right. This one is tricky because it is broken down into four pieces, but these two right here are not shaded in with any cupcake. So that makes this one and this one the same amount. Um, so these two both also have halves. You can. You guys can see with that line drawing down the middle, you know that makes it cut in half. As for these two cupcakes, they're the same amount. It's also half. The line is just drawn in a different place. So this one is drawn left to right, but it's the same amount of cupcake on the top and the bottom. This one has a diagonal line, but it is also straight down the middle of the cupcake if you guys were to rotate it. So this one also shows half, as well as this one. All right, pause the video if you guys need more time um, practicing this one. If not, we are going to move on. All right, so here's the next question. It asks, how many cupcakes show half? How many cupcakes show half? Um, we're also working with cupcakes, so y'all should be a little bit more familiar with this picture. Please take your time with it, and I will reveal the answer in a little bit. All right, I'm going to reveal the answer in three, in two, and in one. How many cupcakes show half? The answer is two. So good job if you guys got that. Um, the two cupcakes that show half, please point to them. All right, so this 
first one was the half cupcake. And the other half cupcake is this one right here. And we know that because it shows the same amount of cupcake as this one. So awesome job. We have two more practice questions. Okay, so this one asks, how many rectangles are divided into halves? How many rectangles are divided into halves? Scholars, I want you guys to take a good look at each one and decide which one is divided into halves. This one does not have any shading in it, so you guys need to pay attention to the number of lines drawn in the shape. All right, the answer is in three, in two, and in one. The answer to this one is one. Okay, and that one is this one right here. This is the only rectangle that is shown to be divided into halves. All right, and we're moving on to our last practice question. It says, how many rectangles are divided into halves? So the same question as the one before. Take a look at each rectangle carefully. All right, I'm going to reveal the answer in three, in two, and in one. How many rectangles are divided into halves? Your answer should have been three. Awesome job. The three are this, this rectangle right here. Oh, whoops. Use. This rectangle right here. I don't know why it's not letting me do it. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and circle it right here. This one right here, we have this rectangle and then we have this last rectangle. You guys know that this is divided into halves because there is only one line drawn through it. So that shows you guys two equal parts to make one whole. Um, this one right here has three parts to make one whole, so that does not make it um, divided into halves. And this last one right here has four sections, no, sorry, four parts to make it a whole. So this is not one half as well. This is actually one fourth. And then this is one third. Okay, so that was the last of our practice questions. Okay, so now I have a challenge for you guys. I want you guys to get a piece of paper. So this is something you guys can do while y'all are at home. Um, get a piece of paper and fold it into halves. Um, let me go grab one real quick. All right, scholars, so that was our practice time. Um, we have one last thing to go over. This is a challenge for you scholars to do at home. Um, I want you guys to get a piece of paper. It doesn't have to be a blank sheet of paper. I just grabbed something that I don't need anymore. So if you guys have any of this lying around your house, go ahead and grab one. Um, if you guys don't want to do it along with this video, just watch what I do, and then y'all can do it on your own time. But um, go ahead and grab your sheet of paper. And I want you guys to fold it in half. This way, um, as you guys can see, we'll be folding it. Um, what is it called? I believe it's called the hamburger way because it's bigger. So you guys are going to fold it in half. Make sure all the edges touch so that it is an even fold. Um, let me get my marker real quick. So y'all are going to label that side. One of the sides, one half, okay? And then fold your half into a half again. So fold it upwards, make sure all of the corners touch. And then unfold it, that way you guys have two more parts. And we're going to label these two small ones one-fourth. If y'all could take a look, or sorry, y'all could take a look right here. 
labeled it one fourth and one fourth. We'll go over that in another intervention video in the future.